body's been taken away. Of course. The winter cold may help, but the body would still naturally decompose if left unattended. They also needed to perform an autopsy. <sighs> I just wish I could have examined it a little more. Why not use my function? What function? This is not your first crime scene. You have done this many times before. Oh, that! Indeed. Iba, please do your thing. At once. I am replaying the scene from when the body was found. I have scanned from edge to edge for this recreation. I really can't get used to this. It's like going back in time. But I thought I remembered officers being around. Oh, right. This would be our first time seeing the scene this way. When creating a VR space for an investigation, irrelevant information is not replicated. Got it. Now, let us begin. The point I am most curious about is... How the body was carried over there. As I previously stated, no footprints were found at the scene. Let us focus our investigation on that fact first. Hey, Iba, how far is it from the corner of the seats to the middle of the center circle? Approximately 190 to 220 feet. Could the body have been thrown from the bleachers? Pardon? That would explain how the body got there with no footprints. Hold on. There is so much wrong with that. What do you mean? The record for the hammer throw is 284 feet. The hammer is 16 pounds. The body in question is indeed cut in half, but it still must weigh more than that. Maybe they used a catapult. So that is completely impossible. The state of the body excludes that possibility. Every time I see this, it hits me that this is really Jin Furue. It's crazy that the other half of his body was found six years later. The cause of death was the body becoming severed in two. He was cut at a molecular level, identical to the right half that was found six years ago. The culprit is most likely terror. And no other damage to the body besides being cut in half, right? None. Nothing like falling from a great height? Impossible. If that had happened, there would be signs of impact damage to the body. Hmm? There's something in the grass. It appears to be a screw. The grass was so long you couldn't see it with the naked eye. What's this? Hey, look at the halfway line. It's hard to tell because of the white chalk, but... I see slight grooves in the ground with the x-ray mode. Is this... a tire tread? A bike, maybe. If that were the case, we would see evidence of two overlapping tire treads. But there is only the one. So, something with one wheel. This tire track... it looks familiar. His bone structure is standard. Nothing has been done to his face, nor his body. So you're saying... There is no evidence of plastic surgery. It's Jin for sure. The temperature is a little lower here. It's like something spilled. This is related to specific heat capacity. 
What's that? Basically, it is how easily something heats up or cools down. Something that heats up and cools down easily has a low specific heat capacity. So I have a low specific heat capacity. You have the opposite. Anyway, as you can see, the melted snow has caused water to begin to pool. However, whatever liquid spilled here has a lower specific heat capacity than water, so you perceive it as being colder. Any idea on what it could be? Analysis complete. It is an oil used for lubricating machines. Machine oil, huh? That should complete the investigation. Using the evidence we found, we can replay Terror's actions. How did Terror move the body to where it was found? That's what we need to figure out. Let us begin. How is the body carried without leaving footprints? We should consider how exactly it was carried. How the corpse ended up where it did? Yes. There was no additional damage to the body. If it was dropped from above or thrown from somewhere, that wouldn't be the case. Correct. Now consider the lack of footprints. There were no footprints. But we did find other prints, right? What specifically? Right here, on the halfway line. You see the tire track? Something with one wheel was used to carry the body. Something with just one wheel made this track. What was it? I think it was a robot. The screw we found in the grass. And the machine oil. You have to think they're connected. Perhaps a one-wheeled robot, but we cannot conclude that it was a robot based on this evidence alone. I guess not, but... Those tire marks looked familiar. Let us imagine it was a mono-wheel robot, and it carried the body along the halfway line. Yeah. Let us begin recording. Huh? Recording? Okay, Miss Star in the Making. I am the director slash cameraman, Aiba Kurosawa. Kurosawa? You don't know Kurosawa? All right, that guy. I am going to start rolling soon, so please show me your best acting. Uh, hold on, I don't even know what this is. No talking back to your director. You're an actress. I'm a police officer. That is basically the same thing. For both jobs, you need to show some skin. Neither job requires showing skin. Enough worrying about the little details. You simply need to play the part of terror. Why? Let us begin. Ready? Action! My name is Terror. Twas I who cut Jin in half. Now I shall carry this corpse to the center of the pitch. Oh, this is some superb acting. So, how are you going to accomplish that? Using this. I'll use this robot remotely and... Uh, this is hard. Look dicey there, but I got it back. Whew. I did it. Cut! Wonderful. Great acting. I especially liked the performance of your eyes. You have the eyes of someone who has actually killed a man before. Can you not say that, please? Anyway, this robot.
Kaiba, you were thinking the same thing, huh? Yes, I saw it before as well. Shoma's one-wheeled robot. Do you recall the grooves on that tire? But it just can't be. Shoma can't be terror. Despite the circumstances, the possibility is not zero. No way. The best thing to do is confirm with him directly. Where is Shoma? Unknown. Really? I cannot locate his GPS signal. His smartphone is either off or somewhere with no reception. So sending a Nile message is pointless too. Guess we have no choice but to look for him. Where could Shoma be? Naturally, we should head to the Enda residence. There is also a high likelihood of him being at Brahmin or Matsushita Diner. I think I've seen him testing his robot at Yoyagi Park too. While not directly related to Shoma, there are records of Jin Furue being hospitalized at Central Hospital. Maybe we can ask about Jin too. We should also head to Sekiba High. That's where the second body in the HB case was found. Where should we go first? <laughs>